You will be. We'll see. Come on, Margaret, we've got to get you a partner. But I'm a partner. A blimpy partner, thicko. But, Mr Willis? Do you want to keep your job, girl? Then save your breath for the competition. Come on. Spice things up with a little bet on the side. TJ, don't get in too deep here. A hundred quid we win. It's a lot of money. Chicken, eh? <laughs> you aren't fit to stand in Rudy's shadow. Five hundred pounds. You're on. And we're off. Adios, losers. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, if Karen finds out... I know, I know. She'll really... Don't tell me I know. The only good thing is she won't be here tomorrow. She flies to Canada tonight with her parrot. Her parrot? Yeah. Her parrot! Your parrot? What's wrong? Oh, no. What happened? I've been taking lessons in semaphore and I wanted to show you what I learned this week. What do you think happened? Oh, your parrot escaped out the window. Thank you, Daffy. This is all your fault, Strickland. But how could it be my fault? Well, what kind of a moron leaves the window open when there's a parrot flying around the room? Well, when I came in at 9.30 and opened the window, there was no parrot flying around the room. Typical. You never think ahead. <laughs> what am I going to do? That parrot is irreplaceable. Well, couldn't you get another one? <laughs> Tell the girl what irreplaceable means. It was specially bred in captivity and lovingly hand-reared from an egg. 3,000 pounds of pedigree parrot down the john. Frappelli's gonna freak! <laughs> My career is over. It is an ex-career. Well, yeah, you're just gonna have to go anyway and tell Frappelli what happened. Go? Are you mad? I'm not going anywhere until I figure out a way to get myself another parrot. London Zoo. Break in after dark, a handful of pistachio nuts and a rucksack. They'll never notice it was gone. Hanson, you're good. Yes. I hope she's not serious. I hope she is. If she doesn't get that parrot back, she'll be here tomorrow. Oh, the dancing contest. Uh-huh. And if she's here, I'm next out the window. Come on, Godzilla. You heard what that horrible woman said. You've got to stay outside. There you go. Hi, Freddy. Hi. I'm sorry. OK, guys, we're really up against it. The good name of Spats hangs in the balance. But am I downhearted? No. You know why? Because we have a secret weapon, the super sure-footed Stanley Rydale. I'm never going to dance again so long as I live. you got to dance, please. But I haven't got a partner now, have I? Well, we got two willing volunteers right here in this room. Well, I'm not dancing with Vince or Dexter. No, I meant those two. No, no, no way. I mean, only someone with a haggis for brains would dress up in sequins and prance a bit like a wazook. So that's a no, huh? What about you, Debs? Oh, no, Derek don't like me dancing with strange men. Stanley's not strange. Huh. And there's a phrase you don't hear every day. <laughs> Come on, Debs, I'm desperate. <sighs> All right. Yeah, terrific. What do you say, Stan? Hmm. She's not Margaret. Stanley, help me. All right. Yes! OK, all we need is another couple to make up the team. Uh, Look no further, TJ, my homeboy, cos I'm your man. I didn't know you had aspirations to being a ballroom dancer, Dexter. Nah, but I've got aspirations to be an assistant manager. <laughs> OK, oh, you want to bear it in mind. Now all we need for you is a partner, so it's either Freddy or Vince in a ball gown. Oh, come on, Freddy. Look, we need another girl and... Well, you're the nearest thing we've got. <laughs> but I'm warning you, I don't know the first thing about it. That's all right. Stanley will teach you, won't you? Look, practice with Debbie, we'll watch. Come on, come on, Freddie, come on. Come on, over here. Freddie, right, come on, I'll leave. No, I'll leave. What, I'll leave. No, let me leave. Oh, come on, Freddie, come on. back. Come on, Freddie, come back. One, two, three. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Good morning. 
Welcome to Spats, where you provide the rumbly tummies and we provide the yummy yummies. Did you just make that up? Yeah. That explains why you're the manager of a tacky hamburger joint and not the poet laureate. Hey, what happened to you? Why didn't you tell me London Zoo had temporarily rehoused the lions in the parrot's cage? I don't think she'll be going to Canada. No, that puts paid to the nice competition, I guess. Tommy, baby! Oh, this isn't my morning. And it ain't gonna be your night either when we wipe the floor with you. What do you want, Willis? We never decided who was gonna judge this shindig. No. No, we didn't. So I guess we'll just have to cancel it. <laughs> no can do, Tommy boy. We got a bet. Remember? And I'm holding you to it. Hello, Miss Hanson. A little birdie tells me you've got a bit of a problem. You're not funny, Vimter. Well, fret no more because your old Uncle Vince has the solution. your parrot. <coughs> I've got one better. <coughs> better? Yeah, yeah now, control yourself steady now. I have managed to get my hands at great expense on a Sri Lankan night warbler. Never heard of it. No. No, not many people have. But a parrot fanatic like your mate for Pelly would just bust a gut for one of these beauties. Well, let me see it. Oh, no, 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 don't touch, don't, no, uh, they're nocturnal. Daylight. They can't stand it. No, no, they've got to be kept in the dark at all times. Please, a nocturnal parrot? What do you think I am? I mean, do you think you're talking to some kind of airhead here or something? <laughs> well, 50 quid, take it or leave it. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm not asking you to cancel anything, Willis. I just want to postpone it. Running scared, are we, Toby boy? I'm not scared of anything. When Karen's gone, we're on. I'm gone! We're, we're on. on. Oh, you won, Vince, old buddy. I don't know how you did it, but Karen had found out. <laughs> oh, no, it can't be. I'm back. <laughs> TJ, help. Every man for himself. <laughs> Hasta la vista, baby. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Guys, I don't think she noticed. Get all the decorations down. <laughs> <laughs>